thanks for joining us on Oleke Business Time. I am Chiwando Osisiago. Today we'll be discussing on the impact of inflation on the saving culture of Nigerians. Inflation can have a negative impact on the saving culture of Nigerians as it can cause the value of your money to decrease over time. Historically, low interest rates have already caused savings accounts to grow very little in previous years. With inflation now running high, your savings are at risk of losing value in real terms as you will be able to buy less with your money. If the inflation rate exceeds the interest earned on the savings or checking account, the investor is losing money. It is worrisome on how the high rate of inflation has negatively affected the saving culture of Nigerians. My guest is in the studio to discuss further on this topic. You get to meet him shortly after the break. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back from the break. And if you're just joining us, this is Overleg Hair Business Time. Like I said earlier, we'll be discussing on the topic, the impact of inflation on the saving culture of Nigerians. I have a guest with me in the studio. He is a financial analyst and the senior associate, the Greece Consultant LP. He is Mr. Muhammad Nasir Abdullah. You're welcome to Overleg Hair Business Time. Thank you very much for having me. It's good to have you, sir. All right, so okay, we're talking about the uh, impact of inflation on the saving culture of Nigerians. In a long term um, understanding, how can you explain the difference between the savings culture of Nigerians and, of course, inflation? Okay. Well, in a strict term or a strict man's understanding of what inflation is, it is simply the falling of the power of your money. So it, it means that the value of your money value is eroding. You can no longer buy what you used to buy with the same amount of money last year, the same year. So the uh, um, inflation is looked at in relation to your ability to buy consumables your ability to meet your consumption. So if your income cannot meet your consumption because the, 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 the value of your income had reduced, then we say that there is inflation. All right, so, okay, how do you think about the saving culture of Nigerians, especially during last year, that's 2023, because a lot of people had difficulty in saving due to the fact that the inflation rate was very high. At the moment, the inflation rate is about 28%, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 28.9. Okay, 28.9%. According to CPI, okay, as of December uh, 2023. 20, uh, okay. um, I, I think let's go economic trick in this matter. Let, let's look at it econometrically. Your income is equal to your consumption plus your savings. And if your income is low, it will affect your consumption and your, and, and your savings. And why income had remained static and the value of your income is eroding over time by inflation, you are left with little to meet your consumption and then savings. If you look at the equation, savings comes after consumption. This is more than an, an arithmetic expression. It is an expression of irritability, man's ability to respond. You must first eat before you save. So um, going from the, the fact you just established that we have a rising inflation, and then there is no increase in income. It therefore means that there will be reduction in savings. And that is what is happening currently in the country. So do you feel people are still saving as it stands or you feel people are just 
you know, collecting their phones and using it to buy things in the house. Because, you know, as we said, that people must eat. Yes. Yes. And most people that I know is that they collect their salaries and the next thing they do is to stock up the house with food stuff, children's school fees, and so many other things that, you know, expenses they need to, you know, meet. So do you think people are still saving? Well, you, you, we, you can, we can deduce from the variables available to us that even if Nigerians are saving or so were, saving, were saving before, the saving would have reduced by now. Because you can only save after you have met your basic controllable consumption. Because there are two types of there are, there, there are two uh, uh, types of uh, factors that affect your consumption. I cannot determine the price of gari in the market, but I can determine and control the price, the amount of gari I soak. So I can use budget to say, look, I want to I want to soak only a cup of gari every day, but that will not, but, but, but that will not. My budget will not affect the price of gari in the market in the coming days or coming months. We have noticed that food, food products, foodstuffs are increasing on a daily basis, or, or, or in fact, on a monthly basis by over 1%. On a monthly basis by over 1%. So you, you, you find that, that you find the situation where while your income remains static, the cost of consumable is increasing therefore leaving you with nothing to save at the end of the day. Okay, talking about income remaining status, what are the implications? Like, you know, your, your, your salary is not increasing, things and people are not getting money like the way they usually get, like years back. What are the implications? The implication is clear. <laughs> it's straightforward. With regards to the issue we are at hand, there will be reduction in savings. There will be reduction in savings. People will have to pull all resources towards meeting consumable, to draw meeting their basic consumption. We are talking about basic consumption here. And when you talk about savings, there are things that affect the saving, the, 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 the savings of an individual. It is one, the government policy, the economic reality, the condition we are all living in. We already know the economic reality of things. And then the person's habits, spending habits, or lifestyle. So in Nigeria today, the economic reality is gloomy. It's not clear. In fact, it is, what, what we can see is that there is no prosperity for the average Nigerian. And the policy are not helping issues. There is every day government is trying to increase the interest rate in order to curb inflation so that you, 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 they discourage people from getting, uh, from, from, from getting loans to meet their needs. Yes. So when you discourage them, you believe that that will make inflation go down, but it doesn't. And then your personal lifestyle. I think people are already making changes to the personal lifestyle. You don't see people tell you, do you know who I am? I can feed you. I can do that. I can do that. You know, Nigerians used to be very, we used to be very, uh, offline people. We, 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 we flaunt our wealth, but we, in the, in the reality today, you see these things reducing. There, there are, there are various postulations, various, uh, uh, opinion by other financial analysts. One said, you could see you, uh, that one can conveniently save 20% of his income. I know that I say one can conveniently save 30% yes. of his income. But we, we have to look at the individual. We look at the costs, mm. his consumption, his cost standard of living. 60,000 naira, what will you do for an average person? Let's say, <laughs> even if the person is staying in places like, uh, let's say, Kanu. Mm -hmm. What does that do for you? What, what, we look at the cost of rent. What is the cost for rent that is apartment no, to get yes, apartment no, per no. month? Mm -hmm. what, would, what is the cost? They look at what is the cost of transportation to the place of work okay. where this income is gotten. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the whole thing, at the end of, and if the person has responsibility, then we have to also consider 
who are, who are his dependents. So you see, at the end of the day, the 60,000 Naira would not, uh, cannot meet the basic need of that person, except the person he himself is a dependent on another exactly. person. Yeah. Wow. All right, so as a financial analyst, uh, can you list um, tips on how people can actually see? Because no matter how little your, your salary income is, you understand, there's no how you all just have to see for raining days. Because there will come a time in your life that probably you don't have you know, funds, you actually have to fall back to your savings. Let's go beyond salary income. And if the purpose of saving is for rainy day, then the current uh, economic reality has defeated that purpose. Your 60,000 Naira in your account, January 2023, is not the same value, of the same value today, even if it has appreciated or, or uh, uh, it has received interest. The interest itself has been eroded by inflation. It has been eroded by the, by the exchange rates. Do the arithmetics. 60,000 Naira in your account. In fact, let's say 60,000 Naira in your account around September is not of same value with 60,000. The value would have eroded even if it had gained interest. I think we should go beyond saving if we must meet this rainy day. We should also look at insurance, which is one thing that we have not looked at as mm -hmm. a people. Look at insurance. One of the things that have made the, um, what, they, what they call them, the uh, of people from the overseas, the other economy, the other developed economies, it's not because they own. I have a lecturer that has always mocked the European lifestyle and say, look, they are all in debt, unlike Nigerian. You own your phone. You paid for it completely. It is not on a finance lease. It is not, or uh, it, 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 it was not purchased via, it, it, it's not on hire. So in, in such case, you, 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 put, you, you did an outright purchase, which is very not common in other developed mm -hmm. economy. You see people going into mortgage, you see people they, they, um, having to get their, their other basic necessity through insurance, through, through uh, leases. I think that is the way forward to be able to meet these basic needs mm -hmm. for rainy days. Just today while I was on my way coming to this studio, the, the driver bringing us here, the taxi driver, got a call from the home and he calls that his pregnant wife, his pregnant wife had just, has just been rushed to the hospital mm. and he needs to call and pay some bill of about 10,000 Naira. Now, you can't have this type of money. He, he, I'm not sure he can make that amount of money in his type of business, except he has like, you give him like four more hours or five more hours. And he has also deducted the cost of four from that. Mm. So at the end of the day, that is even if he's able to join the queue, the car rank queue to get the next set of the next set of passengers to take to his destination. Now, looking at all this, if he had gotten an insurance, a health insurance cover, he won't bother. He will know he has paid. So I believe you uh, insurance is also an example of investments. So savings should be tilted towards investments so as to uh, beat the inflation. Okay, so you're explaining that we should just do insurance. Those are the tips of... You know, what, what I'm saying is that savings, savings should be tilted towards investments. That should be the fact. Should be tilted because if you save in the, in the sense of putting money in your account for interest, which cannot beat the inflation, then it would have the effort, the, 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 the idea would have been defeated. The benefit would have, would have been lost. So why not treat, why not move these savings towards investments? Towards investments that are not affected by the exchange rate or the inflation, or even if they are affected, 
they have the resilience. They have the ability to overcome them. Another example is shares and, 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 and bond. In your question, I heard you mentioning savings income. We must go beyond savings income. And especially for civil servants, whose income is basically savings income, which income is basically salary income, which they get from the government. They must go into buying of shares, bond, and stocks. Because I understand as a lawyer, where many persons come and say, okay, as a civil servant, I can only go into business or in, into agriculture business. I can't go into other businesses. But the essence is the government, the policies that you should not be seen doing other business while in the course of your work for government. But that does not they deny you the right to partake as a shareholder in shares. You buy shares from prospective, from, from companies with prospects, economic prospects. You buy shares, and it, 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 I know one of those, I, I'm not calling for any company, I know some, 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 some companies who share have been increasing. You bought one at 167, it is selling today at 300 or something. You've gotten something. I think that is the way to go too. But some I, people don't have the understanding. And you can only share your shares at the secondary market wherever you need money. If you say, okay, oh, I think I want to sell this share. Yeah. You go to secondary market, you sell it. And you, I know people, persons, clients who have gotten over 300, of, over, over, more than 50% increase or return on their shares. All right, thank you very much, sir. All right, we'll be taking a quick break now. We'll be back shortly. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. All right, welcome back from that break. All right, uh, Mr. Muhammad, uh, some people say instead of saving in the bank, it's better you save in the ground. <laughs> what can you say about that? I heard a lot of people say that, why would I want to save money in the bank when they were deducting every minute? So it's better I used to buy land and save there because it increases. Uh, lands appreciate. Um, it's believed that it doesn't depreciate. Uh, lands also depreciate. It depends on where you buy it. Other factors, accessibility to the to the to the landed property is there. War, crisis, could also affect the value of a property, a landed property. For example, if you had if you had a property along Kaduna Abuja Expressway, uh, back in two thousand and one, that would be a prized property. But today, if you are set, going to sell that property in the market, the the, 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 insecurity, the insecurity condition would affect the value. So I am not saying that it is not a viable option to save money in the ground. Uh, for me, what I understand was other alternatives, other alternatives to saving in the bank. And which could include, which, which is generally investments. But you must be careful about the areas in which you invest into. Not just rush into any investment and say, oh, because they have promised me X, Y, Z return on investment. No, you have to understand the business that is being run. You also have to understand the level of financial transparency that is going on in that business. Financial is very important. People just, because there's an agreement, you have to look, they have to show that, they have to show you that they have been progression, financial progression. That is the way you can appreciate the level of sustainability of such income coming from that business. So that it doesn't end up like a Ponzi scheme on the end of the day. So savings in the ground could be alternative investment, alternative, uh, alternative to saving in the bank. And that is the best. That is the best at this current uh, stage. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. So explain further the impact of this inflation on saving culture for Nigerians. 
Well, Nigerians. The saving culture of Nigerians have really not been that great. About 52% of bankable age of Nigerians are not banked. And you find that we have um, we, 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 we have an, a large informal economy. So it is difficult for one to say, oh, Nigerians' savings have moved from, Nigerians' saving culture has moved from X to Z. And we are a people of, um, with due respect, we are people of, we are religiously conscious people. We say you leave it for God. God will take care of the rainy day. God will, why, why should I save when God will save me? So those type of concepts. Mm -hmm. So you don't find it, you don't find the act of saving. Although, although we've had history of a susu, a traditional means of saving, it's a thrift. We have people put, pull their resources together and give to one of them meet his needs and then same process goes on for another person to meet his needs. Well, those are traditional ways of saving, but generally uh, the saving culture of Nigeria has not been really great and with the current condition of economic condition, it has further plummeted. All right, sir, before we conclude, sir, what do you think the government can actually do? especially in the regard of this inflation that is rising, because as long as the inflation keeps rising, things keep increasing in the market. What government can do is to continuously review their fiscal and monetary policies. Continuously review it. Many have said that why is it that economically correct principles and uh, economic, economic correct principles and uh, solutions have been applied in other jurisdictions and they work. But when they come to Nigeria, they fail. I think we must always factor the Nigerian, the Nigerian, the Nigerian uh, reality into any a strenuous or alien policy we are bringing. We must, we must structure it to fit the Nigerian people or the Nigerian condition. We, we, we have a very, we have a culture of corruption. People call it corruption. Some people call it gratitude. Yeah, some people call it excessively, excessively being grat. Because if you look at our, our corruption, idea. It stems from the art of gratitude. You, people believe that they, they, they owe you, they, you, you owe them gratitude. Mm -hmm. They give you contract and say, be grateful. So you return and do what they call kick back to them. So that in near future, they will have mm -hmm. to give you again because you've shown gratitude. You also see people, even when it comes to uh, marriage. We already understand that his diary established and all these things. But you see the malpractice in marriages. The boys in the house have to be given money. The guests <laughs> in the house are doing money. So those other extreme <laughs> factor comes in. It's, it seems as, it seems as gratitude, but it is outside the purview of what is expected. And then government need to also increase the awareness, financial awareness. Yes, financial awareness and the, and the importance of savings among Nigerians. Government must also um, amplify their efforts on making Nigerians realize the benefit in other means of investment, other means of investment like insurance, like buying of shares, as this would help in this current condition to meet their needs. We are all talking about Nigerian basic needs. We have not even gone to other needs. <laughs> okay. And then uh, uh, I think that spouses must understand that at this time, what is required is cooperation. Understanding. Cooperation, financial, economic cooperation. We understand that the man is the head of the family. 
is the head of the house. Mm -hmm. And then he's, he's saddled with the greater That's economic true. responsibility. But the woman should also realize that in the open, in the public, there is no difference between a man and a woman in terms of income. In terms of salary, if the wife could be any more than the mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. and in such situation, she must understand that in this current Good. situation, she must contribute oh. enormously to the family. All right, thank you very much, sir. Because of our time, sir. So, what's your final take? My final take is for Nigerians to diversify and continue to push their. They want to push their, their earnings, their income, source of income, diversify it, whether you are in a salary employment or not. Get other means of income, generating income. And it is only when you get other means of generating income that you can talk of saving. Saving comes, saving is, in, is, saving is only possible when income has been earned. You can't save what you don't have. So you have to earn. So I encourage Nigerians to look at other means of earning beyond their salaries. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, in conclusion, Mr. Mohammed Nasir uh, Abdullah summarized that um, Nigerians should try at every means in this year 2024 to diversify and push their income instead of only just one um, source of income because as i said that one source of income will not be convenient or sustainable for you in this year 2024 as the inflation rate is actually going on as it stands now the inflation rate is 28.9 so Nigerians, please try at every cost to diversify your income because he said that savings is possible when you have different source of income. If you're a salary owner, owner, just try as much as possible to get a small business you can actually be doing, you know, to ensure that you meet you need to uh, meet your target yes. or your income also convenience invest, yes. invest in you can also in, yes you can also insurance. invest as you yes. said you can also invest in insurance and also insurance. share and, and, and yeah and buy at uh, this rate i want to uh, say a very big thank you to Mr. Mohammed Nasir of July, uh, the financial analyst and the senior associate Legris Consultant LP. I want to say a very big thank you for coming on Oleke Business Time. It's my pleasure. It's good to have you. And you too. Thank you. All right, that's the much we have for you today. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Oleke TV and our website, Oleke.tv. My name is Chiwendo Osisiago. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.